Listen. This is our review of the latest Peter Capaldi episode. Listen. You see what I did there with the intro? I refuse to comment on it. Yeah, I thought you would. Right. Uh, should we do my thoughts first? Because we did your thoughts the first last yep, week. Yep, can do. I really liked it. Mm-hmm. I thought it was a really... It's certainly been, it was certainly the best episode we've had in the series so far. Mm-hmm. It was really good, and it, it just kept your attention the whole way through. I don't think it really dropped it. There might be moments where it, 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 the pace leveled a bit, but you can't keep something high pace forever because it always just gets tiring. Mm-hmm. You need to have those moments where it just levels out. And I just really liked it. Parts of it are unexplained, and they'll probably come back to it later. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's Stephen Moffat. Three seasons now, I'll come back to it. Yeah. But I did really like it. Certainly the strongest one of the series. Mm-hmm. What did you think? I I enjoyed the episode up to a point. Right. When they materialised in what looked like the medieval barn. Yeah. Which I still called Bull on. Um, and from that point on, I was like... Well, when it was revealed where they were. Yeah. Mm. It did. Oh, no. Never I saw it coming, though. No, I didn't. And if yet, when it was revealed, I kind of went, of course. What else would they have done with it? I, I kind of had the same thought. Yeah. Although I did quite like it. It was, it was a nice tie into the 50th. Mm hmm. Well, and technically, it might not be Gallifrey. Yeah. What was it? The moon of Gallifrey? Um. Well, it's never stated where it is. I mean, we saw it in the 50th. It's this alien world. Mm. Also, it's very low tech for Gallifrey. Well, it, yeah, but it's the same shed. Shit, well, in the middle of a desert. And, um... It's the same one that we saw in the yes, 50th. in the middle that of a desert. Sense. Yeah. Also, is he an orphan? Because if so, I call Bull on that, because he has a mother. Might not there. Might be boarding school of some yeah, kind. That's a hell of a boarding school. And, um, Maybe. Because she said you can come in with the other boys, yeah. which would suggest to me it's the idea of he's been sent to somewhere I just thought before they There was a home in the beginning. Down. You know, script writing, you link everything back. Yeah. There's a little home in the beginning, which in case they're called Bull, because we've seen the doctor's mother, or allegedly yeah. the doctor's mother. Allegedly. Although in the, um, in the script it is the doctor's mother, it's just never said in the episode. Yeah. Um. No, I don't think it, he's. I don't think the doctor is an orphan. I mean, all, he's always known about his parentage, anyway. Mm-hmm. It's been it's been referenced, if if not in some of the uh, much earlier episodes. Yep. It's been referenced in the audio books, the comics, other stuff. Consider what you will as what's canon yeah. and what isn't. The audio books are canon. Yeah, they are. Um, of course, then what we get to the we get to the big debate about the uh, Paul McGann when he said he was half human on his mother's side. Which is, also, which is also bull. Um, which is which is absolute rubbish, as we know. Yes, that film is in general rubbish. Oh, I, Paul began. We need to do a commentary British. in that film somewhere. Just for Some, virulent hate. Somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I think we, we'll talk about that, the film when, when we do the commentary. Um, it, I, it, it's, 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 I did like the episode. I liked it, but then also the lack of any closure or explanation. Or yes. the vision we got was bull. Um, it was very much one you weren't expecting. So I suspect when, we, when, when it up. first happened under the bed, I was thinking Bastion Arada. Bastion Arada. That's the one I can't say. I was thinking shadows and nothing. Ah, okay, so it was these. Because I like them. That cool idea was a Doctor Who villain. They're brilliant. And they went no. And then I saw a hand. And okay, it's not unless you've got it's Dave the spaceman who got possessed. Yeah, yeah, it was Dave. Yeah, Dave. Um, With of course the famous lines, "Hey, who turned out the lights?" Yes. Yeah, and that could also tie in nicely. Yeah, that would that would that would work. But we the one it's never explained what the thing was on the bed, no. which probably will be eventually because oh, oh, oh. we ne- we we never see it. No. The the only thing we get of it is when it's slightly blurred in the background, mm. which looks like it just looks like a small child. Mm. Oh, from, the, well, from what, what I saw, it looked determined. alien. It wasn't human, whatever it was. Like, yeah, I'm thinking, it's not human, so. But it looks human-ish. It well, yeah, too much. Yeah, but yeah. Well, not just that, but it, it was um, skin tone. Yeah. Well, that's something I think. I thought, yeah, given given idea it wasn't human. But no, we need a... That might be explored eventually. Or not. That's why not. Nah, no. Let's be... No, it probably will be, because we're probably going to bring Danny Pink in later he's on. In the, he's in the next episode. Is he the next episode? Yeah, in the trailer. I swear he's with... There's three of them now in the title. I assume the other one's Danny Pink. Because I swear in the trailer for the next episode, 
I didn't see him in the trailer. I, 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 I was seen briefly, but I saw like him, Doctor and Clara walking. There's someone behind them. I assume that's the only thing. Or Rupert the intro Pink. thought it was quite or nice. Rupert this Pink. One. Yes, Rupert, technically. Um, you can see why it changes his name. Yeah, I would. <laughs> but I'll also change the pink as well. It was also interesting that, that we've had almost the confirmation. We've had the, uh, the actual start of their relationship. Eventually. Which eventually. Um, yeah, we, we saw the start of the relationship at the end. Just, after knowing that they're going to end up getting married and having kids yes. together at some we'll point. We'll just spend time stream around them. Doctor, he's very good at messing around with, like... Mm. Just don't meet yourself. It's in the universe. Yeah. Ish. I quite, I quite like the way that it was the end of time, because we've been to the end of the universe before. Mm. With, um, Much Utopia. redder than I remember it being. A different planet. Yeah. In the universe, I think at that point, <laughs> Karen becomes, it's the end, nothing else is alive. Which is bullshit, because lots of men in the universe, there's plenty of people alive. There were, there were the mad natives, whose name I've forgotten, plus the people in the, with the master. Yeah, it's true. There were people. I'm assuming it's after them, then. This is, uh, this is at the after point then. there's... Well, they were the last of the human race. Mm. So I'm assuming this is post that, even then. So this is the point where there is absolutely nothing anymore. It's just... Nothing. Life has been extinguished, but that doesn't Except mean... Except for something universe. outside. Yes, that's the big question as well. If it was anything. Mm. All elaborate ploy by the Doctor, he's bored. There's something. Frankly, it wouldn't surprise this, me. This episode was that, though. This, this, this is one of those few episodes where it's not the Doctor stumbles into something. Mm. It really is a thing of he's actually gone looking for it. Mm. You don't get that often. No. And then actively pursuing something. I, he was really... Capaldi was really strong in the episode. Yeah, I well. liked Capaldi. It was quite funny. It was fun. You had moments where he was just really dark and sinister. Mm. But then it's just, at the same time, it was not worrying, kind well, of. So we can still disco lighting in Tardis from the opening. Yes. I was like, is like a disco going on here? <laughs> I give Batman Robin shit for the dodgy lighting. <laughs> One light, keep it on. Uh, oh next week's looks very good as well. Mm. It seems to be almost that, that the writing is far superior in this one than what yeah, we've had. until the end. Just because you didn't like the plot doesn't mean it's poor writing. Oh, no, no, I like the dialogue. It's just... It kind of... Makes itself too important towards the end. Mm, it's nice when that episode does that sometimes. Plot. Particularly, we haven't had that in a while. We haven't had... Mm. You don't get many episodes where... It, there are very few episodes where we can tie it into a bigger thing. It's the first episode we've disagreed on. Uh, it's going to be a fight. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're wrong! 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 I let you have your Wrong opinions. Wrong and we're no. I'm not someone who's insistent on my opinions right. You're allowed to have your opinions. I like the ending. I, I was surprised at it, and parts of me are questioning whether it should have been done. Doesn't mean I didn't enjoy it. I know you're still there. The mic falls off. <laughs> Mute the microphone and just leave. You've been in for hours talking to yourself. And this will never stop recording. <laughs> Next week's looks good, though. Next week, Ocean's Eleven. It is, actually, Robin, isn't it? Robin the Bank, co-starring Key Hawes. Is it a bank, or are they breaking someone out? Someone out of a well, bank? Car, was, car okay. said bank, so I assume bank. Well, no, we know it's a bank, but it looks like they've got someone in there. Mm. So it's clearly... Yeah, the it's, alien it's, guy, who reminded me of the Thorian from Star Wars. Vaguely, the curved face and the eyes. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. But, yeah. It does look very interesting. And the soldiers either side... That look like Sith troopers from the Old Republic. Or Knights of oh, yeah. Knights of the Republic, the golden armor and the vague face helmet. You have no idea what I'm talking about, but this is me having a little I've got bits of it. It's in what the words, old in the Old Republic, the, the Sith thing troopers thing? Uh, there's the Sith Empire wear all gold armor. With Thank that you. face armor. I'm looking at the picture on Twitter now. Thank you. And it reminds that and the historian, the curved eyes and alien from Star Wars. Remind me of that, so Doctor Who meets Star Wars. Yeah, Pretty main. sure that must have happened already. Somewhere. Probably. Someone's fan fiction. Uh, well, fan fiction definitely has. Um, they had crossover with Star Trek already. Hey, X-Men met Star Trek. Star Trek. Yep. And both original and next generation. Cool. And, oh no, you didn't get Professor X meets Picard. Ah. Professor X was dead in the Marvel Universe at that point. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I know. That. It's just sad, that'd be the best crossover ever. 
two Patrick Stewart's. This is awesome. The universe couldn't handle it. Although I, I will say from it. that, Wolverine and Worf, bromance. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I enjoyed it. It was weird, it, it, though it was an episode where there was no drama particularly. There was peril, but it wasn't in that same way of we've got to save the world or anything like that. We've got to save someone. It was yeah. Best title for fan fiction ever, The Doctor and the Jedi Clara. Uh, wow. Just get yeah, cover. <laughs> I might skip it in my brain, Yeah, I thought you would be. Oh, yeah, and, and we had the confirmation, of course, of the relationship at the end. Yes. Because we were all waiting for that. Yes. He says, rolling right. his eyes. When I watch Doctor Who, this is what I want. He says... I do want to see what they're going to do with Danny, though. Yeah. It's always future, future, great, great... Well, great grandson, I suppose. 100 years, not... Uh, no, it was just great grandson. Yes. Hundred years is, in terms of generation isn't much. Well, yeah, race length, longevity of life goes up as the medicine improves. Well, it's not just that. It's just like three generations is enough to span a century. If you think grandparents are born, my grandparents say my my uh, were born in the nineteen thirties. Their parents were born before the First World War mm. in the, like the eighteen nineties. Yeah, that's my great grandparents. That's already over a hundred years ago. Mm. Doctor Who. We discuss generations. Yeah. <laughs> and regeneration. And boom. Touche, good sir. That's a tagline. Yeah, that's um, now a tagline. Um, no, I want to see what they're going to do with it. I like the character of Danny, though. He's really interesting. Yeah. And really old, really normal. It's just but not in that guy. way that he's not, he's not normal but dull. No, he's I... normal, but you can almost just connect with him quite nicely. Yeah. What did he teach again? History, wasn't it? Or was that Clara teaches history? She teaches English. Oh, okay. She teaches maths. Oh, no one teaches history. No one does history. She'd be good at one toy history. There'll be an irony in it. Ultimate field trip ever. Everyone knows. Um, <laughs> Let's go. But we know there's an episode. I'm not sure if it's the one after this one or the one after that. It was one called the, the Caretaker. To Wikipedia. And I think it's fairly safe to say the Doctor will be the caretaker. Yes, as long as well as, well as the curator. The caretaker is yeah after the next one. Next one's yeah. time heist. Yeah, I know that one's called time heist. I remember that. And then he's been called the caretaker before though in mm. the Christmas special one with Alexander Armstrong when uh, it was Matt Smith's one. Do you remember that one? Alexander Armstrong. Yeah, it was the one set in World War Two, and then they went to. The, oh the, yeah, the, that one. Yeah, that the one, one. with the yes. with Bailey in it as yes, well. Yes, I remember says, that one. They all blur into one. Because it's that moment where he says, are you caretaker? Yes, I'm the caretaker. Or the doctor. Or get off this planet. Mm. Ah, Matt Smith. Um, ah, those are the good days. Fond memories. No, but it's the first good episode, I would say. Definitely the first strong yeah, episode. Yeah, Um, I'm looking forward to it. Who's writing next times? Because it's... it's Stephen Moffat's writing... It's, He's not it's writing Time the next Heist, two, but it's... Time Heist it's, is a collaboration between Stephen Thompson and Stephen Moffat. And Stephen Moffat's doing a collaboration on the next And one, The Caretaker, Caretaker with Gareth Roberts. Yeah. Gareth Roberts, that'll be a good one. Gareth Roberts usually does good ones. Who was the next one you said, Mark Tom? Uh, Stephen Thompson. I will go on the Wikipedia Thompson. page. He has written for Doctors, The Whistleblowers, Doctor Who. He wrote The Curse of the Black Spot and Journey to the Centre of the Tireless. Ah, that's going to be dreadful. Good episodes. Uh, Journey to the Tireless is... Yes. Curse of the Black Spot wanted Pirates of the Caribbean. He's also written three episodes of Sherlock. The Blind, That's why I reckon The Blind I, yeah. Baker, The Reichenbach Fall. Reichenbach Fall. And The Sign of Three, which he co-wrote with Mark Gatiss and Stephen Moffat. Yeah. He'll do okay. If it's in collaboration with Moffat, it'll be strong because they work well together as seen in Sherlock. Mm, I'll take it away for it. You still haven't seen it. Uh, I, like the writing I like my Sherlock Holmes in Victorian England. I know you do. Uh, it's good writing, now. You can take that from I'm me. I'm sure it is. Don't dismiss my opinion. I'm not opinion. saying it's badly written. I'm sure it's well written. If to be successful, it has to be at least vaguely well written. And have the fan base it has on the internet where they I can pick apart everything. Yes, it's very it true. It must have a semi-decent writing. Whether it's good or bad, I don't know. I haven't watched it. Am I going to watch it? If I really get bored, maybe, but probably not. Probably not for a while. Well, one, it's like three years between like three episodes, and that gets on, that would get on my nerves. No, it's, 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 it's three years between series. Yeah, but it's like, it's, 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 it's like three episodes. 
Yeah. I'm like... Ugh. It feels like how long they are. But anyway, we've got... What are they? They're an hour and a half. Okay. That's why they do it. It's the, it's the same... Almost... I think it's the same budget as Doctor Who. Mm. Partially, because it oh. makes it... Well, not, well, not exactly Doctor Who is the bigger one, but... That they can choose between either either six episodes of forty five minutes each, or three episodes of an hour and a half, and for the complexity of the Sherlock Holmes plot, longer episodes yeah. make more sense because mm. they're nicely self contained. You don't get two parters with it, although you do get overarching plots. But that's Sherlock Holmes generally. Yeah. Um, We've gotten off topic. We've gone on to Sherlock. I don't even watch the show. Mm-hmm. I know. Uh, Next time we could be Game of Thrones, I will get angry. You Again, you've not seen that. I know about it. I've, I've seen bits of the internet. Not at the same as watching an episode. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We're getting anyway, topic. off topic again. Back to Doctor uh-huh. Who. Which is why we're here, usually. Normally. Um... No, I haven't really got any. Aside from what we've said about this, the slight problems with the episode, yeah. that this part we didn't get parts of the closure. Parts of it were unexplained, but mm. probably will be eventually, mm. as they always are, because loose threads are always yeah. tied up at some point. <laughs> no, Moffat, it could be a while. Might be, although it would probably be this series. Mm. It might not be. We have no idea. The mysteries of Moffat. Might be a while. Also might be a tagline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I have to admit, though, it's probably one of his best pieces of writing in a while. Yeah, in a while. Probably since Blink. <laughs> Which is the last, nearly that last episode he singly wrote, though. Um, Legitimately a joy start to finish. The elephant... The elephant hour? The eleventh hour? <laughs> the elephant in the room. Well, yeah, that elephant is getting... The eleventh hour. Okay, yeah, that was alright. Series openers and yeah. closes. They are Moffat. The villain didn't really do much in there. Either of them. No, but one well, was Olivia Colman, so you can't really say yeah. anything much. But as we've said, I think we said it in deep breath with oh, with series openers. It's not so much about the story; it's about finding out what the Doctor's like. The um, fiftieth day of the Doctor. Did you sing me right now? Yeah, I did. What oh, matter? There will be some in there as well, and like the series closes for a lot of them. Yeah, well... Time of the Doctor, Night of the Doctor was written by Moffat. It's like three minutes long. Actually, it's not, that's a bit more. Uh, seven, in the episode. Well, seven. Almost, almost quarter of an hour. Mm. We need to um, again. It's quite a lot. Mm. It's certainly one of the strongest ones he's yeah, done in a while. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. It's definitely got... Um, but as we know, he doesn't do as much writing as lead writer. Well, no, well, no if you, it's, it's management position. Yeah, it's he does overarching yes. stories, so he knows where their stories go it's and what they can and can't do. Going, no, 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 yes, I'll take credit for that. No. <laughs> and, um... It wasn't. It, I like the premise for it though. Yeah, well, yeah, it's just stereotypical scary Doctor Who villain based on Child something. Yeah, something kids are frightened of: the monster under the bed or in the closet. Or just some. Something you can't see or from outer space or all sorts or your drawings yeah are, are you thinking of as many of them as they've done I think because I got fear Bill though. Bailey does he count as a fear no does Bill Bailey count as a fear <laughs> let's remember he's in one episode um, the Narnia one yeah that wasn't great no trees um Enjoyable, but enjoyable. Uh, eh, it's Christmas. The Christmas usually it, it's, Yeah, the Christmas one. Oh. I don't know. The Christmas invasion was good. Was it really? I like the Christmas invasion. Oh, so go, this is going to be good. Killer Christmas tree. <sighs> I'm nearly not drunk enough for this. The Runaway Bride. I like the villain that that better. The that was a good Emperor one. of the Rangers. Didn't do much, but the idea was good. What's uh, after uh, that? Is that the Christmas Carol one after that? No, David Tennant. Uh, How many Christmas specials did David Tennant do? Yeah, his first one was the Christmas Invasion. Invasion. Then, he did. then the Runaway Bride. Then his next one was the Titanic one. Oh, yeah, that was... With Kylie Minogue. Yeah, the Titanic one was... Yeah. And I think the next one 
Point of Dand. Was his last? Yeah, because I, I've aided specials. Yeah, the next one, that one was The End of Time. Yeah. Which was a Christmas and New Year special because mm. it was a two-parter. And then that was the end of David Tennant's runs, The Doctor. Mm. Matt Smith's Christmas specials were... Christmas Carol one. No Christmas one. Carol was the first one. No, new one. I can't remember. No, new one. No, new one. Did he do another one after that? Oh, yeah, the um, the final, it's final episode, technically, it's Christmas special. Yeah, we know, I know, remember that one. Was there one in between? <laughs> Series six. Ah, no, there wasn't. Christmas Carol. Series seven will be Narnia. It has a name, but... Yeah. Uh, the Doctor, the Widow, and the Wardrobe. That's it. Yeah, she did it after oh, that. After that, it's 2013 specials. Yeah, it's the Day time of the Doctor. Doctor. Day and the time of the Doctor, yeah. I thought we did more. Mm. Yeah, we had three specials with him. Mm. In series eight. And they've just started filming on, uh, I think it's like in the past week or so, they've just started filming on a Christmas special for this year. Ooh, what would be this time? Killer, yeah, killer buds, in Cardiff. Killer Buds of Holly. Oh, it's Cardiff, it'll be the recession. And the Welsh fight for independence after Scott. No, Scott. stop it. We're not, I'm not talking about that. I'll say nothing. Final thoughts. No. Uh, I liked it. Had some problems with it, but I don't think there's ever been an episode of Doctor Who that didn't have any that was perfect. There's always some grievances in there somewhere and on things. Genesis and the Daleks. I don't think they have mine. You have any problems with that? Might be some probably, if, probably if I watch it again. They'd probably, probably go on TARDIS wiki, there would be some continuity errors or production errors and things like yeah. that. It's for 40 years, there's going to be continuity gaffes. Yeah, of course, of course there, there are. There's going to be continuity gaffes. Obviously, it's different. Yeah, but we've said, I, I think I've said this before, it's, it's weird to compare the old classic series because those would have six episodes to a story. Mm. Now you get Four. a story all wrapped up into 45 minutes. I like the old way. Because we didn't do them cliffhangers. I like the old way as well, but it's the yeah, it's budget, budget thing and, 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 and scheduling and all that. Uh, final thoughts. Uh, as I said, I liked it. Strongest episode so far. Some problems. Some of them might be explained and resolved later. Uh, might leave slight bitter tastes in the mouth a bit when it comes to the ending, like with uh, your fine self. Yes, and I, my final thoughts are, uh, liked it, had some of the best atmosphere of any of the episodes, in a while actually, kind mm, of like a last maybe. decent episode, the acting was all good all around, the writing was good all around, ending made me go, huh, a bit, but it didn't ruin the episode, it just... Probably Jenna's best scene in a lot, in a while, yeah. she's, she's had some really good scenes actually, this series, the writing for her has just been really good, Deep Breath, she had a great scene. Mm. And then this one again, her, she's, they've got, when well, it's just her doing the talking, yeah. not, she, you can see she's really good. So who did write Listen, Listen on the Blackboard? Again, questions we might not get answers to. In theory, it might just be the Doctor and he did forget. <laughs> Age. Um, <laughs> it's getting a bit. Well, no, I don't know. No, no idea. TARDIS? Yeah, wouldn't surprise me. It could do it. We have not. Uh... She could do it. Yes, she could do it. Old girl. <laughs> Young girl. Uh, yep. All right. So I think that's us for this week. Next week, ashes to ashes. <laughs> You've got a lot across. So we're trying to make a reference to it. Ashes to ashes. Eighties. Right. We're going eighties. I'll get. We're the going eighties. I'll get. So... The show. I'll, I'll fire up the quattro. Yep. We'll be there. <laughs> Join us then. In the eighties. Yeah.